Next Trucking is the first trucker-centric marketplace where we connect shippers with small trucking companies with a focus on port drainage. Ports are an enormous economic engine. Billions and billions of dollars of goods and revenue related to the activities here. So there's a lot riding on efficiently picking up and moving those goods in and out of the ports. And up to now, it turns out that this one piece of this vast logistics industry was kind of overlooked, drayage. That's the point at which these giant containers come off of a big steamship that's just crossed an ocean and then needs to go onto a truck and then be moved out to a warehouse or a distribution facility of some sort. Capitalism in operation is what it is. I mean, each stage in this is somebody performing a function that's a specialized function and then handing it off to somebody else performing a specialized function, each one with a profit motive. When you've got the ocean shipper bringing it across the ocean, you've got the terminal operator unloading it. They then pass it on to an independent operator trucker they bring it to one of the two railroads, and the rest of it comes by truck in into the warehouses throughout Southern California. There it is managed for the country, for the large retailers who actually own the product that is moving through all of this. There is no single person or group that runs all of that. It's all separate companies. In 1981, the federal government deregulated trucking, essentially meaning that it was an open, capitalist-based market. And the industry evolved from there because from the driver's perspective, they could pick their own hours, they could make their own rates, pick and choose who they wanted to work for, when they wanted to work for them. And for the trucking company, they could move more goods at a cheaper cost. It's a very complicated system that probably would never have been set up like this to begin with, but it's evolved and there's all these vested interests that are willing to change if it's in their upside profit. The industry is really, really backward comparing to any other industries. There's no technologies and the drivers primarily conduct the work via phone calls, or text messages, emails sometimes even fax. There's no transparency for the shippers. Shippers don't know where the load is real time. They have to call a traditional broker to find out and broker calls a driver. And when you have delays at a port complex, you have a whole association of fees that could go along with it. The more efficiently we move goods, the cheaper it's going to be at the end of the day for the cargo owner, which means cheaper goods for the American consumer. It's like domino, right? The first piece doesn't fall correctly and it impacted the whole supply chain. When you have a finite area like a marine terminal, you can't just pour more drivers into it. You need to operate more efficiently. And that's why I think technology and data are really gonna be what helps drive this industry forward because visibility and predictability is what's gonna make us operate more efficiently. There's potentially $15 billion of drayage revenue in and out of the ports of LA and Long Beach alone. Nationwide, there's a $60 billion opportunity according to Next Trucking. So if Next Trucking is right, this is gonna be a very big opportunity for them. And it's because there has been that inefficiency in the system. We believe in the future, Dray will be a seamless experience that works hand in hand with the rest of the supply chain. If we cannot do drayage more efficiently, the whole supply chain will collapse. And we wanted to be the first one who look at these problems, who can solve this problem.